It was a season that may have been unlike any other in Ohio's rich basketball history. The 88th year of Bobcats basketball in 1994-95 brought with it high expectations. And much like a busy elevator in a crowded hotel, the season had more than its share of ups and downs. The reason for optimism stemmed from a run to the NCAA tournament at the end of the 1993-94 season and the return of virtually every key performer that had helped the Cats go dancing the prior March. The biggest returnee being the player nicknamed the Shack of the Mac, power forward Gary Trent. Trent would go on to win Mid-American Conference Player of the Year in all three of his years in Athens and was the 11th player picked in the 1995 NBA Draft. His retired uniform number 20 hangs high above the Convocation Center floor. In a campaign that would ultimately total 24 wins, the highlight of that season came right at the outset as the Bobcats made the college basketball world sit up and take notice of what was happening in Athens by storming their way to the prestigious preseason NIT title. Ohio head coach Larry Hunter knew his team was primed for a big run in that season and the campaign would start off with a game that every Bobcats fan was looking forward to. The preseason NIT opener in Columbus with Ohio State. With the Buckeyes in a rebuilding mode under Randy Ayers, Coach Hunter nevertheless talked down the thought his MAC favorites were the favorite that November night at St. John Arena. Everything was was uh, was staged for us to, you know, people thought we would just go in there and have no trouble beating Ohio State at Ohio State. And that is a big, you know, danger sign goes up when, when, you, when you see that as a coach. You know, we didn't start out very well. <laughs> and, uh, good thing we had that spurt right there at the end of the first half. And, and uh, you know, in the second half, we were just able to you know, keep it going and, and hang on and get a win and get out of there. We didn't play particularly well, but we got a win on the road against a Big Ten team, Ohio State at Ohio State. Gary Trent's dominant performance, 25 points and 14 rebounds, propelled the Bobcats past the Buckeyes 78 to 67 and on to the next round. A visit to an ACC foe, a matchup in Charlottesville with the Virginia Cavaliers. With the short turnaround prior to the Virginia game, Coach Hunter was worried most about his players basking in the glory of the Ohio State win and getting their focus squarely on the Cavaliers, something Coach Hunter addressed in the hours prior to tip-off. My thinking was after the Ohio State ball game was that you know, our heads were so much up in, a, in an area where they shouldn't be that you know, we were going to get our clocks clean pretty good. And we needed to, to win, but we needed also to compete and play to our potential and show the nation what kind of a basketball program we would become. And uh, I didn't have a feeling coming off the Ohio State win that we were anyways near close to being that way mentally. Uh, we played as you know, remarkably well as a team. Uh, we had people come off the bench and pick us up in situations and make key baskets. Uh, we handled their great pressure. We, you know, we weren't out physical, and they were a very physical basketball team. And I think the big play of that game, as I look back on it, was Curtis Simmons. Was hit, Curtis Simmons hit a big basket for us. I uh, got an offensive rebound and somehow willed it back in the basket and, and, and that was a big play in that game, a big turning point back in our favor. Our guys had the poise uh, to go ahead and get the job done and finish it and, and uh, do what they had to do to find a way to win and, and that to me sent me a heck of a message which we talked about after the game that hey guys you can come into Virginia in this kind of an environment against this caliber of a basketball team that at that time, I think in some polls was ranked as high as 12th or even in the top 10. Uh, you know, you're, you're good enough to play with about anybody in the country. Ohio would lead by as many as 21 points on its way to a 94-83 win, a victory that would not only send the Cats to Madison Square Garden, but also into the AP's top 25. Up next for the Bobcats would be an NIT semifinal date with George Washington. But just getting to that game proved to be a bit difficult for the Bobcats. Remember those ups and downs mentioned earlier? Well, Ohio would have a serious case of those just trying to leave the garden the day prior to the semis. If there is anything less appealing than getting stuck in an elevator with 13 basketball players who haven't showered after practice, this reporter is not aware of what it is. After practicing for the NIT on Tuesday, the Ohio Bobcats got into a freight elevator to leave the gym and not noticing the weight limit on the door, the elevator got stuck for an hour. There wasn't a lot of air, said coach Larry Hunter. We were locked in there like sardines. The ordeal finally ended when six players climbed out of the hatch in the ceiling and rode the elevator to safety. After getting off the elevator, the Bobcats were more than ready to deal with George Washington in the semis. Four players scored in double figures, including a 14-point, 13-rebound effort from Curtis Simmons in the 82-76 win. Up next, the chance to hang a banner for Coach Hunter's team. We're going to enjoy tomorrow. We still got to get ready for 
you know, a good New Mexico State Refocus. team. But we, we came here to win. We came here to win. We want to put a championship banner, an NIT championship banner up at the Congress. Amen to that, bro. That's going to make a statement. Okay? Come here to finish the job, and then we'll go celebrate after that. Prior to the title meeting with New Mexico State, the Bobcats, though, had a chance to sample what Thanksgiving is like in the Big Apple. Then it was back to the business of getting the job done. In big time games, big time players step up, and Ohio had one. The Shack of the Mac, Gary Trent, put on a show in the world's most famous arena as Ohio won an overtime thriller with New Mexico State 84 to 80 to capture the preseason NIT title. The 1994-95 Ohio Bobcats would not return to the NCAA tournament that season, but over a 10-day span at the outset of that campaign, they certainly let the college basketball world know they were among the nation's best.